Hi, my name's Chris and in 2022 I started my own clothing brand. Here's 10 simple steps that you can follow to start your own successful clothing brand. But more importantly than that, create a life that you'll love living. Okay, so in step one, you're gonna nail your brand concept. Ask yourself, why does my brand exist? What is the purpose of my brand? Make it something meaningful that allows you to build an emotional connection with your customer. Everything else will flow from here. In step two, you're gonna decide on your brand name and logo, and they are gonna align perfectly with your brand concept. Start with the name, start brainstorming, spending time in and amongst your competitors on social media, make notes, tweak, revisit, refine. Eventually something will rise to the surface. Check three things with that name. Has it been trademarked? Is it being used on social media? Is the domain name available? Once you've arrived at the perfect brand name, write a logo design brief and create a logo that is perfectly aligned to that brand concept, its values, and the brand name. If you don't know a designer, get yourself onto Fiverr or Design Crowd and make a start. In step three, you're gonna identify and create a customer profile for your target customer. Who is it specifically you're gonna be targeting? Now, don't go broad. Be specific. You're gonna start by creating a very basic demographic profile. So who are they? How old are they? Where do they live? Who do they live with? What do they do for a living? But this is the gold right here. This is what is gonna differentiate you and your brand from the competition. You're gonna go deep and create a psychological profile for your customer. So what are their goals, their challenges, their deepest desires and fears? And how is your brand and the brand values going to play into those deepest feelings in order that you can connect with them on a really deep emotional level. I've left a link in the description below to a free template that you can download at any time to help you create your own psychological profile for your own brand's customer. And if you're enjoying the video up until this point, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get into step four. So in step four, you're going to decide which products you're going to launch. So will it be t-shirts? hoodies, sweatshirts, joggers, other garments, perhaps other accessories. Think about everything that you need to pull together from the products themselves to how they're gonna be decorated and in what packaging they're gonna be delivered to the final customer. Be realistic about what you can launch with, okay? Start small and grow sustainably. Test the concept and take it from there. So in step five, you're gonna identify the suppliers for those products we've just discussed. Now, there's no shortcut here. You've got to put in the work, do the desk research, speak to people in the industry if you can. Are you gonna source these products domestically or internationally? Obviously, domestically is the easier route and assuming you're gonna do so, are you perhaps gonna go down the print on demand or the inventory route? If that's a decision that you're looking to make, check out this video here where I go deep onto the pros and cons of each. In step six, you're gonna create a fulfillment plan, how you're gonna process and deliver the orders to your final customer. If you're going down the print on demand route, then obviously a lot of this is taken care of for you, but what controls are you at least able to put in place with your print partner to control what is being received by your final customer? Obviously, if you're going down the inventory route, then you have control of that full customer experience, which is a huge benefit. But think about and don't underestimate how space and time consuming it can be to process orders yourself. In step seven, you're gonna establish your price and promotional strategy. So having understood your product and distribution costs, consider what is a viable price for you to charge for this product relative to your competition. And what does that translate to in terms of a profit margin per item? Don't forget to overlay on this any paid advertising such as for social media and also consider what proportion of your sales will be going through at a discount promotional price and consider how that will impact your average price over the course of the year. Step eight, you're gonna create your online shop. Don't complicate this. You needn't look any further than Shopify. I'm not being paid for this. It's a fantastic platform used by millions of businesses and individuals across the world. You can be up and running and taking orders within 24 hours, but the devil is in the details. So focus on the copy, the product photography, the lifestyle photography. Make sure that it is spot on 
because customers expect it. In step nine, you're gonna define your marketing strategy, which is largely gonna be your social media content plan. It's very difficult to be everywhere from the start, so think carefully about where your core customer is, pick one or two platforms, and double down on those. Will it be organic or will it be paid? The likelihood is that it's gonna be a combination of the two, but the mix of those two is likely to vary over the lifetime of your brand, and only you are gonna be well-placed to judge what that looks like at any given point. But remember, to align your content strategy, with the brand concept and values that we spoke about in step one. Don't always be on the sell. It will go against you. Try to come from a place of giving and you will be rewarded in the long run. So you've done a lot of the hard work already. Step 10 is documenting steps one to nine in the form of a business plan. Now, don't be daunted by this. You can do as little or as much as you like, but put something down on paper something that you can revisit every 12 months in order that you can refine your objectives, measure your performance and tweak and go again. Okay, so my final parting advice to you is to start, okay? Start right now, after this video, grab a pen and paper, write something down, revisit it tomorrow and the day after and start to build some momentum behind your idea, okay? Once you start, have patience, okay? It's likely to take maybe a little bit longer than you imagine, but trust me, it'll be worth it in the long run. And, you know, expect that you will make mistakes because it is only natural that you will do so, just like I have and many others have done before that have trod this path. It's natural that you make mistakes and you learn and you grow from those, okay? As a result of that, it's likely that you will uh, at times doubt what you've set out to achieve and maybe others around you will do the same as well but keep the faith you know why you've set out to achieve this uh, don't give up um, build the life that you love and are going to love for many many years to come so good luck drop me a note in the comments below at any time i'm always here and please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you would like to check out the full video in the description below. And I look forward to catching up with you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye for now.